greeting to all viewers and Phương Thảo. We intend our best wishes for a productive and energetic day. Now, let's recap the highlight of the past 24 hours. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about any important updates. Dear friends, more resources that we have just received. At noon yesterday, a strange rain appeared to the country of China. Specifically, the rain with millions of snakes fell from the sky in Chongqing City, China. The phenomenon of snake rain has been completely heard of until now, but now it is real and has happened this year. China is a country that often suffers from many types of rain. There are strange rains such as rain of fish, rain of centipedes, insects or more scary, rain of blood, but the most special is probably the snake rain. Yesterday afternoon, the sky was gray and dark, there was a phenomenon of rain. At first, it rained a little, but a few minutes after heavy rain, a thunderstorm appeared, but it was turbo with hundreds of snakes falling from the sky, then crawling all over the ground, making people on the street afraid to run away. Someone had snakes drop them on their heads, then fainted right in the rain due to panic because of a heart attack. It is a strange and real natural phenomenon that is descending on the country of billions of people. This is the first time that the first snake rain has occurred in China this year. At first, the weather in Chongqing City appeared rays of sunshine after many days of heavy rain. At 4 p.m. everyone went out to clean and sweep the house, the streets suddenly a big cloud came, and as the sky turned black, the rain began to hit the passersby. But the special thing is that the rain has very little rainfall. Instead there are countless black snakes as big as fingers, with larger ones about 30 centimeters long. They are densely covered on the ground, crawling everywhere. Another strange thing is that the researchers could not find out what kind of snake it was or why they fell from the sky like that. Perhaps bad things will fall on the head of the country of billions of people in China. Before that, in the countryside of Chongqing City, China also happened a turbo rain. During this storm, suddenly millions of small red worms fell, each 7-10 cm long. Even more strange is that the rain of worms is concentrated in an area of about 42 square meters. They fall heavily in that area and one can scoop up a bunch of worms from the roof and balcony or on the street. This time also no one knows where the worms fell from and why only landed in that area. In recent years, there have been many reports of strange rains. Specifically, in February onwards, China suffered a lot of natural disasters, so President Xi Jinping asked people to always be in a state of alert for possible risks. Going back to the snake rain, no one currently knows why they fell and lined up so perfectly, and there have been several more snake cranes that have happened and no one can explain. There are a number of theories, such as maybe the worms were swept away by storms, tornadoes or strong winds and fell to the ground. However, this hypothesis does not explain why the rain of worms occurs during mild weather, and the filarial worms are concentrated in a narrow area, in such a city. Another theory is that the birds are released, but how can the birds steal hundreds of thousands of snakes? There are more rains, other animals can explain, but there still seem to be anomalous weather phenomena that surprise and cannot be explained. Just seeing a snake crawling on the road has caused many people to panic, but now it appears a flock of white falls on their heads. The snake crane also fell, causing a great shock to the residents in this area. Dear audience, revolving around the situation, after Xi Jinping ordered the removal of all Buddha statues, the Three Gorges Dam immediately turned red. In recent days, a series of mysterious things have been discovered on the Google Maps tool, making even the most hardened atheists believe. Accordingly, a series of photos taken on a street in the capital Beijing at 16.12 p.m. local time yesterday, showing that in the sky of Beijing appeared two silhouettes, one tall and one short, wearing costumes. Various costumes are riding rather faint flying clouds. Because the fast-moving speed of the two recorded figures is also enough to see, the two upper figures of two fairies riding on clouds are mentioned in Chinese legends. After a few minutes, in the sky in the south appeared Sun Wukong, Shubad Jioi, and many other gods. This image was extremely clear. People here recount that the scene at that time was extremely magnificent. The sky was very clear and very beautiful, but then suddenly it became cloudy and there were scenes of clouds with human figures in the sky. At this time, someone remembers to take a camera and share it on Weibo, which is receiving a huge amount of searches and shares on social networks. While at 5 p.m. on the same day, the bright fringe of Guanyin Bodhisattva appeared in the sky in southern China. Specifically, in Guizhou, Yunnan, and Guangding provinces, 
Information from a local newspaper said that many people here rushed out of their homes, even out of cars, knelt down to worship and cry, because they believe this image is the Bodhisattva's epiphany. According to witnesses in Kowloon Town, Yinan, after the rain stopped for about 10 minutes, the sky suddenly appeared extremely bright and beautiful rainbow. Immediately after, a blurry image appeared like a flying saucer. Looking a little closer, the shape like a cigar flew up. However, when looking closely, it is very similar to Guanyin Bodhisattva wearing a white robe, holding a vase in one hand and holding a willow branch in the other hand, like in the mythological movies, flying up to bless and witness something rare in heaven. So everyone did not speak, did not say anything, knelt down, folded their hands and bowed incessantly. This mysterious scene lasted for about 15 minutes, then gradually disappeared into the gray cloud, while many people claimed that the Bodhisattva had appeared. But besides that, some people in the army of the Chinese Communist Party competed with each other, saying that it was superstition and asserted that this was just a phenomenon of refraction of light or a finished product. Super photo shop of the monks in the temple to entice mainland people to worship Buddha. But no matter how the Chinese Communist Party uses lies to justify this, a large number of mainlanders still believe that it is an epiphany of the Buddha. Many people express joy because this is a good omen, and surely the mainland people will be saved from the great tribulations that are constantly plaguing China. China is known for a land with more than 5,000 years of bold religious beliefs, known as culture. This is the only culture in the world that has been inherited continuously for 5,000 years, saving countless cultural scriptures, documents and meticulous historical records. But all have been deceived, destroyed at the hands of the Chinese Communist Party rulers, leading and leading the people to worship and follow atheism. Moreover, this evil dynasty also destroyed a series of Buddha statues, suppressed beliefs, killed monks who did not hide their hands for fear that the number of people who worshipped Buddha was outnumbered by the party members, directly threatening the health of the people. Party's throne. That is why recently, mainlanders are witnessing a series of crying and tearful Buddha statues. Recalling at the beginning of 2017, a photo circulated on the internet showing the statue of Ken Sundai Buddha with his eyes closed, originally the less un-Buddha statue with open eyes looking down at the river in front of him. But in this photo from 2017, we see the Buddha's eyes closed as if he didn't want to see the scene before him. Lesson Dai Buddha, the world's largest and tallest stone Buddha statue was carved directly into the lone cliff of Langban Mountain, the confluence of three rivers, Dan, Daidu and Than Wai rivers, in the south of Vietnam, Sichuan Province, China. The statue depicting Maitreya Buddha in a sitting position is equivalent to 71 meters high. It was built between 713 and 8038, in the middle of the Tang Dynasty. The mountain range where the Leshen giant Buddha is located, seen from the river, is said to be shaped like a resting Buddha. The heart of the mountain range is the Leshen giant Buddha statue. The locals often say that the mountain is the Buddha and the Buddha is the mountain. For hundreds of years, people from all walks of life as well as tourists from all over the world have flocked here to admire the Buddha statues that have been included in the UNESCO World Heritage List since 1996. It has become a cultural feature and a natural heritage in the world. Throughout history, Leshen Great Buddha's eyes have closed many times and shed tears. According to related records, Leshen Great Buddha closed his eyes once during a great famine in China from 1959 to 1961. During that time, countless people starved to death in Sichuan. The locals were very po, and when their loved ones died their bodies were rolled up in straw mats and released into the river. It is believed that when Leshen Dai Buddha's eyes are closed, it is a bad omen, this phenomenon has alarmed the Chinese Communist Party authorities, so they ordered the reconstruction of the Buddha's eye. At that time, photographs of the Buddha with his eyes closed were still kept in the Leshen Gallery. In 1966, Mao Zedong's 10-year Cultural Revolution movement brought disaster, heavy destruction, and tragic disaster to traditional Chinese culture. During this time of horrifying carnage, the Buddha's eyes closed and wept silently. It is said that the pictures of the giant crying Buddha have spooked the Chinese Communist Party, in July 1976, after the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Tangshan, the entire city was leveled, killing hundreds of thousands of people. After the earthquake, locals in Sichuan noticed that Leshen Great Buddha's eyes were closed. This time, the Buddha looked serious and seemed to be crying. The last time the giant Buddha shed tears was on June 7, 1994. Based on eyewitness accounts, tourists on the cruise ship witnessed the crying Buddha. Immediately after the cruise ship pulled closer to the shore, People saw the Buddha smiling happily, although there were still tears on the Buddha's face. 
This time, the visitors shed tears of happiness. Adaus and his disciples were also on the cruise ship. The disciple asked his master why Leshen Dai Buddha shed tears. The Taoist replied, In the world, people have not known to respect Buddha and Buddha is worried about the world. To conclude the news program of 24 Hours Channel, we appreciate your attention and support. Please leave your comment in the videos, comment section to have that we can promptly respond to any question or feedback you may have.